What is going on, guys? Greatest uh, World of Warcraft. You know the thing. Except today I'm bringing you a new series. How exciting is that? Yay! So I was thinking the other day that I haven't got enough um, Alliance characters and I wanted to try out Marksman uh, for Hunters because I've never tried it out. I've never actually gone a uh, Marksman Hunter. I've always been Beastmaster. Yes, I'm a pussy. And uh, <laughs> so I wanted to try out a Marksman Hunter. So I decided not to do the easy thing and just, you know, respec my um, my normal Hunter, my, my bloody... Uh, goblin and or, or even get the dual talent thing for it uh, I decided to go and make a whole new character another hunter on my other server which I play on um, the old server where my hunter was before I actually changed realm because of uh, the drain or release just because I wanted to play that badly um, so as you see this is going to be the adventures of Gradus and Bill uh, Bill the bear very famous around these parts. So, hopefully you'll enjoy this. It's something a bit different. Not many YouTubers involve... What's involved? The hell is going on? Um, not many YouTubers um, in Dove, I'm going to say, onto this sort of thing. Um, mainly because recording an MMO can get quite repetitive and it can get kind of boring. And I've only seen sort of one YouTube well, channel that's sort of done it successfully and they didn't do it for that long and that was Yogscast. they they um, sort of maintained it uh, for quite a long time their cataclysm videos but then at the same time they didn't do that many they didn't do a full playthrough so this is just going to be quite repetitive I'm gonna record them in 10 minute videos well I'll record you know different sessions and then you know split them up into 10 minute videos so I can put out more and that's another thing I find that if you do long videos on YouTube, for some people who do let's plays, they d I don't think they get as many views as if you do 10-minute videos. Um, I think it's something to do with our new uh, sort of upcoming generation have a short attention span. I, well, personally, don't think I have a short attention span when something actually interests me. Um, otherwise, from that, I do. And it is quite sad because um, a lot of these YouTubers who do do long videos really have some good content and are really overlooked just because. Oh, wait, you're not injured. Overlooked just because how long the videos are. A good example of this is Scorch82. Uh, he was the first YouTuber I actually watched. Uh, trying to concentrate at the same time and commentate, and it's really, really different. I think I've mentioned this in a video before that it is quite difficult for me to live comment several points because I want to do these quick before uh, anybody comes back home because I find recording videos when nobody's in the house is much easier because you don't have these distractions and um, they're much easier to sort of be mellow about but then for me I don't know who's going to turn up because uh, my life is a party and my home is the club and I'm a very popular person. That's the first time I've actually said that in my life. Um, so yeah, going back to Scorch. Scorch was the first person I sort of watched do YouTube videos and that was because I wanted to know more about Infamous and at the time I was new to the internet. This was about five years ago and I was new to the internet and um, I ha honestly, I haven't been using the internet for as long as a lot of the people I know and yet I'm probably the one who's addicted to it the most. Um, so it was about five years ago and I wanted to know a bit more about Infamous and uh, the first Infamous and I wanted to know some sort of stuff about that and this is most viewed video I think so I decided to you know search it up and my brother told me about YouTube and I went on YouTube and I found Scorch and I proceeded to watch nearly every single video he had put out at that time um, at that time I tried doing sort of YouTube myself and it, it failed miserably it was absolutely awful. I've had... I'm probably one of the YouTubers who still do YouTube, who's had probably the most channels, or has been involved on most channels. I've been involved on around a good 30 channels. I've made about 30 channels. About 27 of them being my own. About... Ooh, what's this? Oh yeah, the Forgotten Dwarf thing. Yeah, 
I've had so many channels and about 20 of them have been greatest. Literally, if you look up Mr. Greatest now, you'll find one of my old channels now where I have up about two years ago where I uploaded uh, just really cheap videos. And uh, whenever I watch it, I feel like suicide. Um, it's absolutely terrible. They are just so embarrassing to watch. So you, you watch them, seriously, if you watch them, type in Mr. Greatest into YouTube. Pause this video and type it in now. It's just... Oh, shit. One of the videos I put on there was literally a sped up version. Well, not even sped up. I just um, increased the BPM on it of <laughs> Greyhound by Swedish House Mafia. And I managed to get like 100,000 views on there. And it's one of my most embarrassing videos to date just because it's not my content. But it counted at the time because, you know, I it counted as a sort of remix because I increased the BPM. People were commenting, why the fuck have you messed with the song? And I was like... I don't know. I don't know. I I would take anything back. You, I take. I give everything to have that YouTube channel back, just because that YouTube channel was the shit. It was. Um, I would have got rid of that video instantly. Just kept the amount of views I had, and then people would have gone on my <laughs> my channel and just go, oh yes, he has a lot of views. I wonder where he's got these views from. Uh, uh, hopefully that would have been the impression I would have made. So I'm trying to find these bloody forgotten. Dwarven artifacts, well they probably passed about five already. I'm um I'm not a very big alliance lover. I've never been an alliance lover. God knows why. Probably because I started off as Horde because my brother was on Horde. Well, originally he was on Alliance, but he moved to Horde to make a tank due to the Alliance basically being um run by twelve year old kids in Goldshire having sex. Yeah, that is basically how I assume the alliance to be. Um, the Horde, on the other hand, I just, I don't know. It, uh, my personal opinion is, if you have the chance to be a big bulging orc, orc, but then at the same time still redeem a hero status, then why the hell would you turn that chance down? Uh, um, anybody who goes human. Yes, the new human model is absolutely stunning, I will agree with that. But... Let's be honest here. What would you rather go, a human or orc? Orcs, you know, big muscly bastards who can take down about 50 men. Or, oh, look at me, I'm a human! Oh, oh, justice! Justice! Oh, it's complete bullshit. Anybody goes alliance, I just don't really like it. These are the only class I can accept. These and um, gnomes, just because they're very different there. Um, Dwarfs I've always adored. When I first played World of Warcraft, actually, about back in 07, when I had a go with my brother, I wanted to make a dwarf just because I've always had this obsession with um, dwarfs or wizards. Or wizards. That's the only exception I will have with humans. Hence, probably why I really like Khadgar in this game. I think the Khadgar looks quite cool. I am gutted they've, they've um, got rid of his beard. Ooh, what the hell is that on the floor? Oh, it's my uh, sock. Um, yeah, I am pretty gutted they got rid of his epic beard that he used to have when he was in Shatterhouse. But I think he looks looks quite cool. I think he's the best model human in the game. Better than Ver um, the king, Varian Wren, is I can't, I'm not sure. Um, I do know his name, but I don't at the same time. That's how successful that is. Uh, yeah, but I'm... Not that fussed on the Alliance. There's not many of the leaders I like as well. Most of the Horde leaders, apart from uh, Sylvanas, I uh, I like. Sylvanas I find just to be aggravating. I've never liked it for some reason. There's something about Sylvanas' character in any sort of thing. Even if it comes to TV shows, I don't like that sort of character. Um, I, d I do think, though, that they should have done more with the Pandas characters. Uh, G. Firepaw and... Isa, Isa, the woman for the Alliance. I do think they should have done much more of them because the story on the Wandering Island was brilliant, in my opinion. A lot of people criticised it. I absolutely adored Pandaria. I'll talk more about that in a bit. But I thought that they should have expanded more. In the Siege of Arguma, you had that little part where you see G's being literally um, disowned by the Kronkar. And. Uh, I think they should have done more. I think they should have expanded a lot more on that story. They should have done like a you know, heirloom prick. Uh, they should, <laughs> they should have 
sort of gone more into the what happens after it because in the book um, I can't remember the book the trial of Garrosh one I don't know what the name of it is uh, I know that they're helping people into the sort of the, the um, temp is it the temple of the white tiger I'm not sure I haven't read it properly uh, yeah if they're helping people into there but then we haven't heard anything about them since I want to know more I want to know if um, G managed to get lucky uh, I want to know if Ice is basically still friend zoning him. I want to know if, uh, you know, just more stuff about the pandas leader. Because they are considered the panda Aryan leader. You'll go on any sort of information site, they'll always say that those two are the leaders. 